um, walking out the door in about five minutes. I have a two-day Seattle trip today. I am so excited for this trip. I haven't been to Seattle in like two and a half years. I have a very good crew today and we've already talked about plans for this layover, but I do have to share with you guys what I packed for this trip or what I'm packing. Basically last night, I just kind of threw together some salmon, some pesto, and some feta cheese. I didn't have time to break up the feta cheese. I kind of just plopped one big chunk of it on top of the salmon. So I have that. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna eat it, but yeah, at some point today. And then I have just this random little cup of berries. It's literally just berries, blueberries and blackberries. I have this chopped up bell pepper for snacking on the airplane. I have two coconut waters. One already, I put a good amount of my athletic greens in there. The other one, I have a separate little packet of athletic greens that I can put in there for tomorrow. The athletic greens honestly has been making a huge difference. I've noticed in my nails, which was unexpected, my nails have been growing like crazy lately. And then I just have my little Magic Mind matchas that I will probably throw into a seltzer on the airplane while I work today. I really love the feedback that I got from you guys on my last vlog, the one about boundaries. And I'm glad I was able to have that little talk with you guys. I'm taking my Symbiotica vitamin B12 supplement and that's it. I need to run downstairs for my Uber and I will see you guys in Seattle. I packed our bags, we'll be on our way The night was long as I waited without a sign A sign of what matters Matters to you But what do you want? What's your biggest need? I'm in Seattle. I don't have a view, so there's not even any point in showing you. It's literally just a building. The flight was like too easy. It was too easy, but it was really good. I have a great crew and Seattle crowds are just so easy. Everyone is super low maintenance. Everyone kind of just stayed in their seat and either slept or just like, I don't know what, just chilled. It was, it was so calm. It was so nice. Don and I want to go paddle boarding, kayaking. I think we're gonna go paddle boarding. So I'm excited about that. I have to change. I literally just brought like a bikini and a little like outfit to wear over it, super casual and some flip flops. And I'm just gonna throw in my water with chlorophyll in it that I'm drinking. And that's it. I ate like my little blackberries and blueberries on the plane. I did not yet eat my salmon or little cut up bell pepper, but I think I'm gonna save that for dinner. I was gonna go out to dinner tonight, but I'm just not hungry for it now, so I'm gonna save it for later. I did have my coconut water with athletic greens, and there is a little protein shake that I might have that I picked up really quick. The ingredients aren't ideal, I'll be honest. It's the Fair Life 42 grams of protein, protein drink. So I am going to have that. It's good in a pinch. It's not perfect, but it's good in a pinch and it holds me over. And I kind of needed some like quick protein to hold me over until this evening when I have my salmon, but let me get changed. Okay, I'm ready. Just have my little terry cloth bucket hat, Frankie's hot pink bikini, and then just these little like shorts from Maritzia and a little t-shirt that I've had forever. Dawn is downstairs waiting for me, so I just have to grab my cards and my room key. I'm so excited. I hope the, I mean, I'm sure the water's gonna be really cold, but it'll be nice to be out in the sun. I'm just packing sunscreen, hair clip, hair tie. That's it. I really just don't need anything else, I don't think. Pretty simple. I was just talking for so long and thought I was filming and it wasn't recording. 
basically, obviously, I'm back in my hotel room. We went kayaking and it was a ton of fun, but it got super windy and super choppy outside. So we decided to come in early. Like we were paddling and paddling and moving nowhere. So we decided to come in early and I know I was gonna be good and eat my salmon, but we were talking about getting food and everything just sounded so good. And I found a really good dumpling place. So I decided, okay, why don't I just save my salmon for tomorrow? I feel like that's fair. And then Dawn and I were talking and we're considering going to go to the movies tonight, another luxury theater and go see Elvis. I have been so excited for the Elvis movie to come out. I have been waiting to see it. So that's what we're gonna do and I'm like, super pumped already. I am literally wearing Birkenstocks with socks again. This is the look, you guys, I don't care. These Birkenstocks are like my new prized possession. They're so comfortable. And when you wear them with socks and leggings, it just, I don't even know, it takes you to a whole nother level of comfort. And I kind of think they look cute now. I used to think they were the ugliest shoes in the world and now I'm obsessed with them. But I got soaking wet, kayaking. My shorts look like I peed my pants. Like, oh God. And then my bikini, everything's soaked. That's okay. I need to drink more water and I'm ready to go. Chlorophyll water, as I always do. mascara on my face i am ready for bed honestly we didn't end up going to the movies because oddly enough every single seat for elvis was sold out every single seat every not there was not one seat open for that movie tonight the dumpling place was really really good dim dim tai fung taiwanese dumplings so good so 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 good and I love how they make them right in front of you in that window. That was so cool. Watching them do it so fast, I loved that. I really like that spot. It's a nice mall. We're in Bellevue. Um, I don't know if I said that or not, but we're in Bellevue. It's a nice area. I really like it. I'm excited to come back and have more layovers here. And I really wanna to go to that luxury movie theater. I feel like this could be my layover where I do things like, you know, my hiking or kayaking like we did. And then like in the evening off, if I feel like it, if I'm not too tired with a good movie in the luxury movie theater. Or if it's a layover where I feel like doing nothing, I love to have little like cozy treat myself evenings just at the movie theater and i'll go but i love going to the movies by myself i don't care i've been using all full lane skincare products lately it's literally the absolute best and i feel like i just i just absolutely love it i talk about it all the time but i'll just show you again brightening serum ultra hydrating mask is amazing for flying i use it as like a recovery moisturizer when I go to sleep on my layovers, but I like to use it on the plane because it's super thick. The writing has worn off on this one, but this is the Folene Eye Cream. And I have a few other products from them, but that's what I have and really like right now. My Coco Kind, my Matcha Stick, this is on my Amazon shop. This is a tried and true, I don't, I have one of these in every bag, in my house, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, it's everywhere. In my lunch bag, I, I have one of these everywhere. It's the best lip balm. Since I wasn't able to go to the movie, I kind of just wanna have like a cozy evening here in the hotel room. The bed is like really comfy, like super comfy. And I just started reading the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's an extremely popular book right now, but they're gonna turn it into a Netflix, a Netflix series. And so many people whose opinion I trust have said it's an incredible book and that it's a fun, easy read. So I was like, you know what? I could use something like that that's just kind of like simple and like a little escape. So I've started reading that. And honestly, it's the beginning of the book and it's already like really interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Good morning, guys. I am wearing my overcast glasses. The sun is like peeking in and out behind the clouds. These are the glasses I like to wear when it's overcast outside. These are great for Seattle. Anyone who lives in the Pacific Northwest, you need to get these little yellow sunglasses. I got these off Amazon, they're super cheap. Um, I'll try to remember to add them to my Amazon cart. I slept in until like 7.30ish, a little before. And now I am going to go get a matcha and walk around. Okay, a nice little tip. You guys see how long my hair is getting and it's actually still really healthy on the ends. I've been buying pure rosehip oil from Whole Foods and literally just pure rosehip oil in the wellness section, like in the, like where they have like shampoo and stuff. And I put it through my hair when I fly, like when it's about to get dirty and it needs to be washed. I do it at home too. I just run a bunch of it through my hair and I leave it in there for like a day and then I wash it and it's been keeping my hair for the most part pretty healthy and helping it stay pretty long. Just a fun little tip, but yes, let me go get this matcha. But what do you want? What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together and suddenly the chances are small just like the lottery. A moment of peace but I am in the botanical the Bellevue Botanical Gardens it is so beautiful here right now I'm sitting in a little like stone arch bench situation drinking my matcha this stuff is really good and of course I had to get the pink reusable cup I think there's a little like tractor thing coming up the gravel but I'm obsessed with it here. I've been wanting to get in nature so much lately. Oh yeah, it's like one of those tractor golf cart things. He just drove by. I have an hour until I need to go home, home to the hotel. <sighs> so I'm just trying to get as much fresh air and nature out here as I possibly can. Look at how cute this little bench is though. And there goes <coughs> that construction site again. If it weren't for the construction, it'd be like wildly peaceful here. Okay, I'm back. It was such a lovely walk this morning. I got in over five miles. Botanical gardens. I ended up going to Target and I'm so mad when I was at Target. I realized that there was another little wellness grocery store under it where I could have gotten food and I got food from Target, but I did just kind of peep into the wellness market downstairs quickly just because I wanted to see what they have, but I'm glad I know about it for next time. But it would have been nice to get food from there as opposed to Target. Like this isn't ideal, but I just really wanted some protein. So I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave right now. This is just like little egg bites with sausage. And I got a Coca-Cola Olipop from Target, some Smart Sweets from Target, the gummies, cause I wanted like a little something to snack on on the plane. I love these hair ties for when I put my hair in a ponytail, the little spiral ones. And then I got some rubber bands because I wanna start doing more like French braids or like the little buns. Um, and then when I went downstairs to the wellness grocery store market, I got a Rebel hazelnut chocolate protein smoothie. Those are so good. And they had the orange cream Olipops. So I got two of those. And then I needed a lotion. So I got the Welda, I like the Welda body lotions. Wild Rose Extract. Everything's so expensive these days, as everyone knows, but I'm just like, all of that was $40. That's so much money for what I got, but it's the world we're living in right now, I guess. Okay, let me put this stuff, I have to put this stuff in my lunch bag and then the other stuff in my suitcase. And I have to get ready for work. Need some time. 
I'm home. Just checked my mail. Got some packages. I love my little pink razor. I got some new face cleanser, like oil cleanser that I use. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. It's called Lightwork by Pi. It's good stuff. Um, I've been using this cleanser for so long. <sighs> Guys, I'm dehydrated. I've been having like a headache all day uh, and I realized I hardly drank any water yesterday. But this is the bottle. I've been using this stuff for so long. I got it from Full Lane. I will leave a link like to Full Lane's website down below. This stuff is the best. Their skincare is the absolute best. And then I got a shipment of the Botanic Tonics that I like. Talked about a few times on here. These babies. I have a code and a link for them down below as well. And I got stuff in my mailbox. And I thought I got my friend's wedding invitation, which still has not come yet. And she told me she sent it like a while ago. She lives close. She lives in DC, so it shouldn't have taken very long. And I saw something with my name on it, but that's not what it was. It was something else. A different letter from someone guys the flight was really good layover is amazing I cannot wait for my two other trips that I have in Seattle um, I'm really looking forward to those this is gonna be a quick vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it Seattle is somewhere that I have missed for so long just the Pacific Northwest in general I love the Pacific Northwest especially mainly in the summertime it's just so beautiful and that layover is comfortable with like the luxury cinema the kayaking that's right there the botanical gardens, the trails that are like in the park, but you feel like you're in the middle of the woods. It's beautiful, good food, good dumplings. Like it was amazing. Those dumplings were so good. The Thai dumplings. Guys, my name is Vera. For those of you who are new here, you can follow me on Instagram at Balanced Flyer. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and please say hello in the comments because I love hearing from you guys. I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. The chances are small Just like the lottery I just hope we could stay together We wait and see But the chances are small Just like the lottery